Hello friends, welcome to Transport Fever. I'm Colonel Failure and you're listening to the relaxing sounds of the, the lapping of the river uh, that is running just behind us at the moment. Uh, as we wait for the goods train to come uh, hauling past us towards the bridge that we built in the last episode. At least I'm pretty sure that's where I am. I loaded the game up and I seem to be sat here and stuff kind of went past and I went, oh, that's, that's quite a nice shot. Uh, I'm not 100% certain where I am. I'm, I'm, I'm like 99% certain where I am. Uh, but here we go. Uh, they, they also have this handy dandy handle on the top there, which I assume is for applying the brake uh, independently to those wagons. Never noticed that before, but uh, there you go. Uh, eye for detail, that's what they call me. Colonel Eye for Detail Failure. Uh, there we go, right in front of the bridge. I was, I was pretty certain that's where we were. Um, anyway, uh, last time we added a, uh, a new goods route uh, to deliver out to Shanghai. I've no idea if that's working yet because we've, uh, we've not skipped forward. We're, uh, we're pretty much exactly where we were beforehand. Um, but I hadn't actually watched anything go around this corner yet. What are you doing speed-wise? 26 miles per hour. Hmm. Okay, well, you know, that's not nothing, I suppose. You're, you're, that's an unconventional... Well, it's not, actually. It's, that's the conventional side of the track to be on. Uh, but you're, you're doing a fine job of blocking absolutely everything in the process. You know, it might actually work better if I... Uh, if I switch sides for this bit. Don't know. Uh, anyway, it, it, with, we'll find out whether that is uh, completely awful or not. Uh, once we start running a few more trains down there, look, there's something going over the flying junction. Look, I built the thing. We might as well look at it and ooh and ah for a couple of moments. Now's your chance. There you go. You've had your chance. We've got an oh, hello, a hole. Wow. Words unnecessary. Sounds really are, are all that is needed to communicate. Oh, hello, there's a train coming. Oh, hello, there's another train coming. In fact, given the amount of trains that go up and down this bit, that's that's hardly surprising. Uh, anyway, today, uh, well, this is a this is a big task we've got on the, on the cards for today. Uh, we're going to set up a new goods line. We are, well, there's a shocker. Um, but the one we're going to set up is going to be uh, in the production of steel, uh, and then from that we're going to produce something from the steel. Good. That's all jolly exciting stuff. Why don't you stick around and we'll, we'll figure out exactly how that's going to work. Now, before we get to it, we'll, uh, we'll go through today's napkin of the day, uh, which comes from uh, Squilukal, uh, who has uh, who's done something of a, a change in, uh, in setup uh, for the, the, the cargo hub. Or at least I think he has. Because uh, because uh, I'm looking at it now, and frankly, it looks rather similar to what I've got already. Uh, so if you can spot the difference, uh, then do let me know in the comments. Go, it, it was obvious. It, it, he's done this, and that would that would definitely work better. Um, but as it looks right now, this could just simply be an artist's representation on a particularly stripy napkin of what we already have, uh, and that's nice. Yes. Okay, right, now then. Um, so, uh, we need coal and we need iron ore. That's job number one. Uh, and then we need to transport said coal and iron ore to a coal and iron ore, turns it into steel, kind of a, kind of a setup. Um, and, uh, and the ideal is that we do that uh, somewhere where, where all three of those are pretty close together. Now, we've got a steel mill here. Uh, we've got some coal over there and we've got some, that stone, that's iron. We got some iron there, right? That would appear to be relatively lowish on the hanging fruit scale. Uh, alternatives: we got another steel mill here, which may actually be uh, easier to get to, given that it's right alongside the track. All right, let's rule that out as a differentiating factor, given that that one's right alongside the track as well. Now we can take the slag that's generated from that and turn it into bricks. Hello, uh, that's just down here um yeah you see i don't i de you know what i do i deliberately don't look before i start recording because because uh, that way we can all do it together and you can you know jump and point and bounce in your seat and go it's over there it's over there uh and then i can miss it completely and you can post a, a lengthy comment about how i missed the easy one uh now then is there anywhere else 
because I've got no issue with doing this, you know, a million miles away, right in the far corner of the map, because uh, part of the challenge will then be to make that work. Well, here we go, look. There's iron, there's coal, there's a steel mill. Right, now then, that's... I mean, that's very easy to set up, and it actually brings some much-needed industry over to the uh, the Wolverhampton and uh, uh, Wellington and, and Shanghai coastline. Uh, Wolverhampton's not on that coastline. The Wellington-Shanghai coastline, uh, which, you know, will mean that we can bring stuff back in the other direction, uh, which will be helpful. Alternatively, we've got another one here. In fact, we're, we've got a... Well, our cup runneth over for steel mills, which is, which is super. Um... It's all going back towards the hub, obviously, because, you know, in hub we trust. Uh, the question is, what do we then do? I know I'm, I'm perilously close to this, and I could make some machines and stuff out of there. Uh, although, hold on, what do we got here? Oh, ah, new. New and interesting and exciting. Uh, so the, uh, the 282T and the reversed version of that, and the Super Hudson. Oh, people are going to be very upset if I don't put the Super Hudson to work. Uh, I'll have to find the right line to put it on um, and the right coach to go with it, but we're not doing that right now. Okay, let's say we use this one. What am I going to do with the steel? I could just hop it across the river. We need steel and planks. Okay, well, I've got some planks being manufactured, arguably not enough. Uh, but here's a plank maker's... Um, which is close by, but all of this seems to be very situated just over here, uh, out in this corner and, and away from the hustle and bustle of the, the main part of my uh, my industrial complex. Is that a deal breaker? No, I don't think it is, really. Uh, so it's going to be planks rather than plastic, which is a shame, because I was hoping to start using uh, corn to make, uh, to make plastic, but... Uh, not a problem. We then just need some logs that aren't a million miles away. There's some logs. They are... I mean, they're about half a million miles away. These ones are even further. I think that's... I think that's going to add... Uh, I think that's how it's going to have to be. So, we could... Uh, we could use shipping to go straight up the river here. I don't really want to because it's very slow. Uh, that's the problem with shipping. It can be very reliable and can make you some good bucks, but it is uh, it is a perilously slow way to operate. Um, no, let's let's do it like this. I've got forty five million quid in the bank. I've got an idea in my head. Uh, it's rather warm, and let's get to work. Uh, okay, job number one. Let's set up a station here. Yeah, we're going trains, stuff ships. Uh, this is not a shipping series. This is a this is a train based series. Uh, let's go with three twenty. Is that going to be fast enough? Let's go with four hundred. Okay, is that going to be fast enough? Yeah, it's going to be fine. Uh, when I say fast, I mean long. Obviously, uh, let's uh, non electrify that. Are you pointing in the right direction? Yes, you are. I'm going to mirror the coast along here a fair bit. I mean, look, you could, looking at it from this angle, you can see it's chuffing miles over there. Um, and actually, it might make more sense to then use this, uh, this steel mill. It might, you know. That might uh, that might be a, a, cl a clever idea. All right, let's plunk that in there. Let's grab a... Oh, hello. I appear to have turned on quite a lot of road choices. Now, you know what we do with road choices. You're right. We largely ignore them. Um, the, uh, the overall uh, mods for this series are kept in one list, uh, and, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll bung a link to that in the usual kind of place. In other words, I'll, I'll forget to do it. Someone will ask, and I'll, I'll stick a link up. Um, right, now then, let's... Uh, oh, incidentally, uh, we are now back in the land, or rather, for the first time in this series, we are now operating in kilometres per hour. So, uh, you know, enjoy. We have, uh, we've made the transition into metric in 1934. All right, okay, well, look, you're going to go this way. Do you need to do anything radical if we head out like that? It's a million quid's worth of rail because we're, uh, we're hammering it through a, a mountainside. And then we could put in a station there with multiple tracks. And we could just do a very straightforward point-to-point. -point. 
up to here. Couldn't we? Yeah, that's going to need at least three tracks there. All right, plop that in because that's not a not a bad location. I've uh, that, I've made an executive decision, friends. Uh, is there a closer source of iron? Yes, there's one there. Perfect. Right, so we're going to grab coal from here. We're going to grab iron from uh, over yonder, and uh, and we're going to make our steel here. We're going to make our planks here as well. And then we'll ship both planks and steel to wherever we think makes the most sense. Dramatic. Oh, ooh, look. Machines possible and so forth. Uh, what have you got here? Planks, steel. Although steel, plastic. I like that too. Uh, that's not what we're about today, though. Is, is what I'm hoping to do as our first gambit is make goods. Uh, so that we've got something that will fuel the uh, uh, the consumer enterprises that we have going on here. Now, we've got this one as uh, as goods option A, or we've got that one as goods option B. You've already got the plank workshop there. You've also got a construction materials gig going on here. There are many things that are possible. For now, focus on the steel mill, get that plumbed in, and then we'll worry about what's next in a moment. See, one sometimes needs to give yourself a bit of a talking to, uh, in order that you don't uh, you don't do anything too daft. Uh, right? Okay. Flexible station, maximum length, please. Uh, just, I mean, really, is that four hundred? Doesn't look like four hundred. Looks like less than four hundred. Uh, but I guess it's four hundred. Uh, number of tracks. Right. We've got one coming in from Plankton. Uh, we're going to have one coming in from Ironton. Uh, one from Colton. Uh, and then something that grabs all of that and chucks it somewhere. I think we're going to need four. Okay, any advance on four? We've, you can go more now if you wish to, but after this, you know it's going to be a pain in the bum to do any more than that. Uh, do we need any direct throughput? I don't think we do. Okay, this still feels quite short, you know. Is it just me, or or is it? Does it feel you know quite short? Uh, underground tracks don't need any of that. Uh, urban new, no country new. No, let's go country new. Let's have it. Uh, we'll have connections on both sides. In fact, we'll put connections absolutely ruddy everywhere. Uh, there we go. And uh, then we'll we'll figure that out as we uh, as we trot on. Now then, if we put you about here. That could work, right? And then uh, let's do a bit of a bit of curve direction A. Ooh, thrilling! A uh, bit of curve direction A in the other. I think we don't really need curve direction A, do we? Let's face our inbound. There's the inbound. If we make that a completely straight line, so about there. We do not need, need even curve direction A, or if we do, it's going to be a little bit like that. And actually, that does make sense. All right, let's plumb you in here. I don't think we need that many other roads, do we? In fact, I don't think we need any other roads, do we? Uh, I might do it anyway in order to uh, to connect some stuff up, but let's get rid of the end streets uh, and just keep a, a basic basic bit of connection there right let's go here right connect you up before the game starts yelling at me because it's not connected up well you medium splendid right are you in catchment you've you better sh you should be there we are yeah no problem uh and then we'll r just run that out no no look look give me a straight line thank you very much tiger um and then we shall head this way oh someone's built a very nice bit of curved road here was that me? It's the kind of thing I do, uh, especially building a bit of curved road that nobody's using. That's that's definitely the sort of thing I do. Um, anyway, regardless, uh, we're going to bulldoze it now. So uh, you know there is that. It's got tram tracks on it as well. That's definitely definitely something that I do. Uh, right now, then we'll uh, we'll continue at, uh, at the gainly pace of 160 kilometres an hour, uh, which for those of you who don't kilometres per hour is about 100 miles per hour. Uh, it is almost literally 100 miles per hour because it's one point. The, the easy calculation is 1.6 miles. Uh, no, 1.6 kilometres to the mile. Yeah, I know. 
You can look that up. That's that's like almost a fact. It's like 1.63, 1.6 something, um, but it's it's 1.6 and a bit, uh, and uh, and that's how you do your conversion. It's really quite straightforward when you do it. Uh, right now then, there we go. You are now pointing in the right direction. Let's think coal. I know I'm doing a little bit at a time uh, to keep the uh, the uh, levels of expectation at, uh, at skyrocket levels. Let's run you out there because we're going to need some double track. I figure if we're, I don't want to do you know a, a single track per uh, per line. That's just wasteful. Uh, now then, what can we do here? We've got this little underground bridgy road kind of a deal, uh, but I'm going to need a I'm going to need a uh, this line is far too fun for me to have not paid more attention to it. Um, now, if we can get round from a station about here somewhere, maybe, and get it round onto that track, I don't think we've got a prayer of getting it onto there. This is all really nicely built. I did a good job here. Well done, me. Still, uh, that's not uh, that's not the uh, the be all and end all. I think what we have to do actually is put the station in over here somewhere, and then. Uh, trot on down, do some kind of something that gets us over the river and then in, into the station, which is no good because that won't get us into the station. Uh, the other alternative is we cross the river about here, and then we could go under by means of a tunnel and come out around here. Yeah, that might work. Uh, in fact, let's commit to that. So we want 400. No, we want a we want a freight station of the terminal variety. And then uh, a, sp a spot of this, whizzer around. And then we're going to terrain alignment collision like we were born to do it. Oh, oh, ah, or are we? Unable to align terrain. Well, that's that's novel and different and exciting. However, you can align that. There we are. That's in. That's that's what I've decided we're going to do. Then we'll uh, we'll wiggle around here, emerge triumphant from the other side, pulling a kind of a, a casual S underneath to get us round and over onto there. Okay, right? Brace yourselves. Now, while we're doing all of this, of course, you're asking, well, uh, this is all very pretty and, and so forth, but exactly what are you thinking insofar as how you're going to put trains on any of this stuff? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna hook it up onto the main line at some point because nobody's gonna be interested in these goods uh, unless I have buyers in mind. And the one good thing about the hub de hub de hub is that uh, it has uh, it has buyers galore. All right, we're now going to hope I can make this work. Oh, we're gonna need a we're gonna you're gonna need a much more aggressive bend than that. And your challenge, chummy, is to uh, is to make an aggressive bend without. Yeah, I know doing it all underground is such a low life thing to do, um, but it needs must because we're uh, we've got a change in declination going on. Uh, go on, you'll get under that. That's it. Yes, exactly that. That will do very nicely. There we go. That's. That's an interesting bit of track there, or an interesting bit of tunnel. Uh, I think some uh, some tree-based uh, concealment uh, would uh, would not go amiss there. Let's keep you on the level, and then have I left enough manoeuvring space? I don't think so. Let's come out this way a little further, and then we can hook round. It might be counterintuitive to actually go the wrong way for a bit, but it buys us uh, a bit more uh, a bit more swoopy round. Kind of a head out that way. In fact, it's even it's even assisting with some snapped action there. Okay, right. Yes, that looks that looks plausible. Oh, red steel. Not used one of those yet. This series. That's because it's I don't like it very much. Nobody's forcing you to use it, man. You can you can go with you go with your dream. 120 kilometers an hour is arguably going to be about as fast as this train gets. Or we're we talking at 160. I do like a girder, as you know. 90. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go into the, let's go into some of these specialist lifts here. Hmm, modern. Too modern. Go on. What about three? What about four? 
No, boring. Uh, this one. Don't like the texture. This one. Sinister. Don't like that much either. Uh, old stone bridge. Ah, now these don't actually have a don't have a line limit on them. Uh, I, I don't feel overly confident about using a, a wood only. I'm not going to use the green bridge on pain of death. Brown, grey, between brown and grey. It's really not that important, is it? What does this do? Oh, no. No, that way lies madness. Uh, what about... That I can get behind if the track speed is fine. Yes. There we go. So this isn't wood alone. It's got a, it's got some good sturdy uh, rock in between. That'll do. I'll take that. That's, uh, that's fine. Uh, we are using that for no authenticity purposes whatsoever. That is purely aesthetic, uh, as well you can plainly make out. Uh, right, okay, now that's ready to plumb into the station. That's good. Let's talk. Or, shall we? I don't know what language or talks, but, uh, but there it is. Oh, hold on. Have I... Uh, no, you've got all... You've got all lit. All's, all's good. I thought for a moment there I'd set everything on a, on a speed limit of, like, you know, 20 kilometres an hour or something flaming ridiculous uh, that would have led to, uh, to, to a very sad... Uh, procession of very slow moving trains. Uh, right, we can probably get 240 on this one without it being a, a disaster. There we go. Plop you in there. Don't even need to think about this too much. You can just you can just lay it all in. Because it kind of suggests for itself exactly what one should be doing. Now if we hook you up on the far end here, what does that do as far as my track shape is concerned? Just works. All right, fine. None of this is cheap, I notice. Um, but, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm relatively comfortable with that. Uh, right, let's back you up a bit. And then let's bring you alongside on the other side. Because I'm not going to take the, uh, the... Or am I? You know, I could. The debate currently raging in my head is, do I use this train to transport the lumber all the way to the lumber mill knowing that it can then bring planks back and drop them off halfway on the way back. Therefore, making a bit of extra profit. I shall mull it over. Uh, and then, iron we don't, we're not going to do anything with. So, the, the, sorry, beg your pardon, coal. So when coal comes in, i got nothing to take back because it's just going to a coal mine. Uh, as far as iron is concerned, same deal. So we'll have those just running, you know, just shuttling to and from. Uh, now then, if we're bringing lumber back ourselves, then what we end up with here is, in fact, we wouldn't be bringing lumber back, would we? Unless from here we head out to wherever the manufacturing is going to be conducted, which would be... Ah, this is the, uh, this is the decision that I, I decided to delay until later. It turns out that later has now arrived... Um, okay, it is now later. That one looks like it's in the right direction. That one's even further afield, but it is quite close to the lumber. Although, would it make sense to then... No, it wouldn't. I don't think it would. Or would it? I don't think it would. That does leave all of those goods a million miles away. Literally a million miles. And, you know, you, could, you say some things are literal and some things aren't, but that is literally a million miles away from anywhere useful. Uh, so, instead, we're going to go for here, just outside Brussels, because that's going to lead us to some rather dramatic and interesting interplay uh, between uh, Brussels and, uh, and the rest of the universe here. Now, we could route this round onto the goods track, which runs along here. Or, we could run it down here alongside the passenger line, uh, getting round the nonsense at Krakow to feed in on that side. I think that's the way to go, isn't it? It's going to be fascinating to see what the AI thinks I'm trying to do, anyway. Uh, so, let's let's try that, and then we'll expand later by shipping steel over to, uh, to this tool-making facility. Although, who knows, we may end up shipping uh, steel all the way down here because it is also used in the manufacture that we've got going on over there outside uh, Sioux Falls. 
Right, let's talk more getting on with it. All right, then. Um, this is me getting on with it. It's not. It's you just looking at stuff. Just actually get on with it, why don't you? What did we say we were doing? We're going out over here. And we want to do that in a in as swift a fashion as we possibly can. You've got all those fields in the way, which is going to cause you some some wailing and gnashing of teeth. And then you've got you've got a, a high speed track. I'm using air quotes for high speed there. Uh, we've got a high speed track there as well, potentially causing causing issues. But if we delete the road. Then that is always the first step to making a commitment towards whatever it is you've decided to build. Uh, right, okay, station. Business as usual here. Uh, 400 meters, please. And, uh, and we'll link you up right outside the front door. We'll then check our orientation and, uh, and, and twizzle that just, just a smidge to save us some... That's, not, that's a bit more than a smidge to save us some cornering later on. Yeah, no, we'll put it away a bit. That'll do. Sold. Right, now then. Let's go track laying. Do not delete the field. Once you're around the corner of this field, then you can do something more dramatic. Where are we actually heading? We're heading for there. Okay, well, this this suddenly does make a little bit more, does it? Hold on. What are you? What's what's even occurring here? You got planks coming from there, which is going to require a train. You got steel coming from here, which is going to require a train. Or is it? No, not if your plank train carries that stuff back again, and then you put some kind of merged system train. No, it's over here. Look, uh, some merged system train together to uh, to do the the heavy lifting from that point on. Right, and then if we make a B line from here. Yeah, I know. I'm crossing straight over the rail. That's that's how much I'm into this. We'll have a we'll have an actual rail crossing going on. Has that mangled things for everybody? No, it hasn't. Going to need to work on the signals there though. But uh, that can that can just hold on for a moment. Make sure Dortmund West is connected to the street network. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, right. Now then, let's double track along here. We're not going to run two trains out this way to start with, uh, but I think of all the lines that I'm setting up here, this is one that is that is quite likely to, to warrant double tracking later on uh, because the run time for a, for a complete, I'm going to say circuit of the route, but it's not really a circuit, uh, is, uh, is going to be quite considerable. Now then, if I can get you to come out in a straight line, it'll be a ruddy miracle. Come on, there you come. Uh, there we are. Look at that. That's uh, that's a masterpiece of engineering masterpiecery. That is. All right, connect me coal line station up to the road. Oh yeah, that was the bit that might cause me a bit of uh, a bit of upset, unless we apply the smoothing tool to begin with, uh, and then we will be in a good position to make this work flawlessly first time. Here we go, flawless. All right. Well, it worked first time, which is which is kind of a surprise, uh, but we want to make it look a little bit more uh, organised than that. That doesn't look organised. There you go. That looks. It looks like what it is. Um, right now, then that's obviously close enough, but I'm checking catchment anyway because I'm no full uh, Dortmund uh, coal uh, mining. Thank you. Let's uh, let's make those changes now, lest I get confused later on. Because I'm going to get confused later on anyway, and we don't want to exacerbate the situation. Uh, right, you're a double slip switch. Aren't you clever? Uh, and then up here is going to be... You know, Brussels is really very close to this station. Why am I taking, why am I taking goods back again? Anybody? Did I did I mention a reason for for this particular layer? Oh, we're going to get onto the Barcelona line, coming back out with our with our finalised delivery, which means one platform will be fine. What's your problem now? Barcelona and Dortmund are griping because they haven't got a they haven't got a, a dedicated line, uh, which means I'm going to be running an additional train out of here. Now that's not too bad, given that the the, the turnaround times are going to be you know lengthy. Uh, but we are going to need two-way track on here. Uh, so let's get across as far as about there. 
And then am I really going to fling it down here? Because if I'm going to do that, then a passing station or a passing platform here at Barcelona would certainly come in useful before we head out which way? Well, we'll head out this way, I suppose. And then get stuck into the absolute mayhem. Look, at, I mean, look at this lot. This is why we've we've invested some time in, in building a junction that is complicated and obscene. Uh, is because there is a lot going on down there. And once I start throwing a flipping goods train down there as well, it's going to get even worse. Brilliant. Um, okay, good. I'm now lost. There's my... Uh, th 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 let's, uh, let's set this up. And then we can sort out all of the towns that are currently belly aching about not being able to form a direct connection by road. I say belly aching. What, I'm, what I actually mean is, is they are politely wording that they would very much appreciate some form of connection. Thank you very much, please. Right, hook you onto that one. In fact, let's not. Let's put you about there. And then let's make a, a bit of a branch in the road here to do that. And then we'll run that up to up to there. I'm quite happy to spend 35 grand on uh, on a little bit of road work. All right, then rock you up onto that. That's, that's then ready for a bit of double tracking later on as the need arises. Uh, you're going to be complaining as well, unless I uh, unless I put something in here to uh, to alleviate all of the complaints. So we'll turn into a, a, a more modern looking uh, bit of road, and then how modern do you want it? Well, reasonably modern. And then we'll we'll do a quick hop, skip, and a jump. We'll put in a put in a cheeky little incredibly violent humpback bridge no, no, no. Let's, let's give it a bit more run than that and see if we can do it a bit more casually no because my terrain and the alignment collision are uh, are at odds with no that's that's the wrong thing there dude uh, go on two is the dream three is acceptable okay it's not the dream though is it the the dream is two and it's only because you're using these big fat pillars that's quite a nice looking bridge though, so we'll have, we'll have that. There we go, connect you up onto there. And then everybody's still unhappy. What did they say? Frankfurt? No, I'm not even using Frankfurt on this map. What are we talking? Barcelona Dortmund. Where's the bit that I've severed? It's gonna be it's gonna be around here somewhere, isn't it? Uh could even it's probably this bit and this bit. Fine. Do we want to put a bridge here? You know what? I am going to put a bridge here rather than a level crossing. Or am I? No, I have a level crossing. That no, makes a change. Um, and then I'm going to put a bridge here. And the reason that I'm going to put a bridge here is because it breaks it up a little bit. Uh, this map particularly, I mean, it's a very flat map to begin with. Uh, but then uh, you've also got, you know, uh, not, an awful lot of, not an awful lot of scenery going on. So, uh, so sticking a bridge in once in a while actually gives you a, a point of interest. Now, yeah, do a bit of that, and then uh, up you go. See that one did it in two. We're going to use my because you did it in two. We're going to use uh, use my favourite bit of green bridge design. There you go. Nice. Hook that up. Hook this up. There we are. You finished? Good. No longer complaining. Uh, get back to work. Now then, we now have... Do we? Yes, we do. We now have uh, our uh, our log track set up. Do we want to double... Uh, just drag the double track all the way to the station and then, uh, and then get it done there. It saves you having to pay for it again later. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't you know it? Uh, the, uh, the big fat foot of bridge is, uh, is in my way. But that's okay. We shouldn't ever get to the point where both of the lumber trains are out here at the same time. So uh, that's all good. Now then, are we done here? Well, we're not quite done done, but we're, we're not far off neither. I'll probably need a few more bits of, uh, of station connectivity going on there. Uh, also, I need to connect this up so we have got two-way going on. 
and I, I, I perish. I perish the thought this is going to work first time around. Uh, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. It's a shame that was a that was a nice bit of nice bit of track laying there. But you know, sometimes sometimes you lay the track. Sometimes the track lays you. As as every veteran transport fever player has been known to say from time to time, it's a transport fever uh, official uh, kind of uh, club membership. I think it's uh, rule 14. Don't know what I'm talking about. Right, there we go. P plunk that on there. It's not the most elegant of corners, I'll agree. Uh, but it is certainly functional. Um, so that will that will do nicely. That, well, it will do what it does. And then I think we're in business. Right, let's name these stations up correctly. And this is going to be Lower Brussels. Now, this is Brussels. Uh, you're going to like this. Goods. Development, si senor, um, uh, which is something that they don't often say in Brussels, but I thought I'd throw it in there anyway. Uh, now, ah, oh, no, the one thing I haven't done is then hooked this onto the passenger main line. Am I going to bulldoze the station at Barcelona in order to make a to get a through track on here? Brace yourselves, I might have to. No, I'm not going to to start with, um, but once it's running, I think uh, I think I might come back to that. But in the uh, in the spirit of getting things done a little more quickly initially, uh, we won't do that. Okay, so this is coal coming in. That's iron coming in. These are in and out. Shake it all about. Uh, one coming in carrying lumber. One going out. Uh, no, lumber can come in on that one. In which case, line one is going to be my uh, my coal line, I think. And everybody needs to be able to talk to the main network so that I've got a, a connection going uh, back to uh, back to freight depot HQ. I have absolutely no idea how long it's going to take things to get in. If I create trains, how long it's going to take them to get out to where they're going from Freight Depot HQ. Uh, but it's going to be an adventure to find out. That's for certain. Now then, if you were to come out here and I, and I double switch all along the way. A uh, second set of points, I think, is going to be necessary. There we are. Now, this is that that particular connection is is probably unnecessary. In fact, it's almost certainly unnecessary. But what it exists for is in case of emergency. Uh, so, in case I need to get something to uh, to a place that it it hasn't previously been, now I have the uh, the means to do so. Plus, you know, it's a it's a different kind of bit of looking track kind of deal. Now, I'll just run that over there. And let's run that down here. You know, it's not actually doing anything that uh, that these slip junctions weren't doing anyway, but it's just you know funkier. Right. Uh, good. Happy now, are we? I think we are. I think we may be happy. So coal comes in on four as we look at it now. Iron comes in on one. Lumber passes through two, heading up to parts unknown. And then uh, steel heads out from three. Good. What are you going to do with the slag? Don't honestly know at the current time. We'll think about that, won't we? Um, right, so the last thing to do is then to route this and go create a second route, which uh, is going to make this bridge seem a lot more interesting all of a sudden. Uh, if I can get... No, hold on. Go from the other side. So what we're going to want here is we're going to want a bit of parallel. Say about there. And then we're going to parallel out through this gap in the legs about here. Losing a little speed in the process, but it's better a little speed than all the speed. And keep it going around the corner until we get a nice... A nice smooth bit of curve. Go on, can you do 160? You can. Fantastic. 
as much as uh, any of these freight trains doing 160 early on is going to be unlikely uh it's you know setting it up to be able to do that is uh, is not a bad idea right there we go right terrific excellent more convoluted junctioning i love it uh are we going to get quad track through there it does have a fighting chance i'll let you have a look at the chain i'm not i'm not heartless i know we all want to see it uh right but we are going to need to get onto this main line before then, if we're going to make any use of the main line at all. I've no idea how this is going to work out. I mean, this particular section of the, uh, of, of what I'm calling, let's call it the European main line for the sake of argument. Um, this is not the most trafficked part of the European main line. Have I got signals on here? I haven't. No. Okay. Go on, get out over there. Keep the speed up as much as you can. There we go. Oh, in fact, the speed limit on the track that they're joining is only 120. Yeah, paupers. And then do like that. Well, that's pretty glorious. Yeah, I'm I'm good with that. That's that's absolutely dandy. Uh, so then the next upgrades to work from that will be to uh, to beef up Barcelona with a passing track. Uh, because uh, because from that point on, anything can happen, right? Because we're going to go motoring out down this way. Let's just make sure this leads to somewhere useful. So we get round here, uh, get me as far as the flying junction. So you've got the over, and then you've got the under. Can we get over onto the good side? No, we can't. You're going to need to, though. All right, well, you know, don't fret. Uh... And it's going to have to be about here, I suppose. All right. So, uh, so do that. Well, this is jolly exciting. In fact, this is jolly exciting. This is going to make this section of track even more majestically interesting. Uh, right. I'm completely ignoring points uh, uh, signals for the time being. I'll figure those out as we need them. Uh, right. Name the stations. That was something I was apparently doing about 20 minutes ago. Uh, Krakow. Uh, or mine. You are Wellington Lumber. And now this is clearly a uh, an international operation we've got going on here. Um, this is going to be Barcelona uh, Steel and uh, and Dispensary. I don't see why not. Uh, frankly, you are already named. Dortmund Coal Mining, you are Brussels Goods Development, yeah, that's fine, and then you are Upper Dortmund. I don't think you are, though, are you? Uh, Dortmund Sawmill. Hooray! Now then, let's uh, let's get rooting. This is going to be quite expensive, and it's going to be a little while before it pays off. If it pays off, ever. Let's start with four and see where it gets us. Uh, if we colour this one black, and then we'll make that one carry the coal. So from Dortmund Coal Mining out to the steel mill. Easy peasy, not a very long route. Would suit a smallish train. Uh, right, so this is going to be, um, uh, let's call it uh, International. That's what we're going to set this up as. Um, uh, international uh, Coal uh, Delivery. Okay, next up, you. Let's turn you kind of a, a rustic brownie orange. Uh, and then uh, you can come from the ore mine out to here. Yes, you can. Hold on. Why are you, why are you flinging coal in on platform whatever that is? We don't want it in there. Do we, oh, I'm going to have to move that over. Uh, international. 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 Uh, or, yes, delivery. C. Good that now you come here uh set yourself up on platform four please thank you this was the plan that we discussed it's the one that we're going for i know it might not be as quick as the one that you'd found but by doing it this way you don't block every ruddy train uh on the on the setup hold on a uh, thought has occurred to me i'm it's going to tell me that there is no path to the line 
unless I also put in a bit of a, a bit of a lean round here. It'll get up because it, it doesn't. Uh, if you're if you're deploying something from a depot, it never takes into consideration that it doesn't ha that that it could turn around at a station. Uh, where does that lead to? That leads to Shanghai. That's no good. So I could use this one and take a spur out down there and join onto the line. I think I'm going to have to do that. Uh, I possibly ought to do that while I still remember that I have to do that though. And as long as it hits uh, the steel dispensary, uh, then then all is going to be well in the world. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll worry about that in a moment. Now that green is going to be our trees. As much as brown is more appropriate because they've got no leaves on them at that point. Uh, you head all the way out to the sawmill before heading back to the dispensary. Now, talk to me of what route you've decided to take there. Well, so far, that's about right. However, you, what you have not taken into account here is I'd quite like you on the, the appropriate side of the track. Uh, let's see if the application of some signaling can uh, can fix that. Now, when I was thinking about this, or rather, I'd, uh, about 15 minutes ago, am I right? Yeah, I thought, oh, I could run this electrified. We could, we could stick the crocodile on here, because otherwise the crocodile will come along and it will already be, you know, well, the crocodile's been available for about 15 years now, and uh, and it would be dreadfully sad not to use it. So there we go. I've, I've not used it, but I would have quite liked to, but I haven't. Alright, what happened to I'm not placing any signals right now? I got distracted. Okay, this is a... Uh, I mean, it works, but it's weird. Yeah, no, okay, you're, you're fine, you're good. It's all fine. Um, right, yeah, okay, so that's... Uh, what, are we, what are we talking here? International... No, uh, lumber processing. Right, and then uh, for my next trick, we shall do uh, from, I guess from here, yes, up to, um, that's not it, is it? Yes, it is. International, there, I know, there's a thing. Uh, ooh, steel, delivery, delivery, we like delivery. Delivery and maybe slag. Question mark. Right, because I don't know. They, it might decide to take the slag as well. Uh, because I'm going to be using the Nafis cars, obviously, um, on everything apart from the, uh, uh, the, the coal and ore, uh, because they are just going to be ores, so it means that I get to use hoppers instead because uh, they're, they're woefully neglected at the current time. Right, one more line, and then we'll go train shopping. Uh, right, so from here to, goodness gracious me, all the way over to here. Uh, now then, pick a platform. Do you need to be double length? You know what, I can't rule out that you need to be double length, but let's go for that. Then let's see what's actually running here. No, it's got a platform all its all to itself. Uh, although we could come in the other side. We could, you know, we could come in here. But no, no, we'll we'll go there. We'll go with its recommendation. Um, so this is going to be international, national uh, consumer goods, bulk, and maybe slag. Uh, let's not do that. We did that joke already. It was it was semi funny the first time. Uh, second time around, the funny really is started to get a bit tenuous there. So let's let's thank you. Uh, so let's uh, let's not do that. Now, if from that kind of the the new micro hub, I guess the uh, the the Barcelona Steel and Dispensary might make for an interesting drop off uh, for. Um, uh, for actually delivering goods to Barcelona, he said, thinking about it all of a sudden, and going, you know what, that's actually a really, really good idea. Because what this will mean is that that goods train will uh, bring 
bulk goods back again, which will mean potentially that the steel train could then take those back to here if you then trucked them into Barcelona. I'm doing it. We're there. Let's uh, let's make the magic happen. Living the dream. Deary me. I mean, this is, uh, you know, we're, we're on the cutting edge of... of Something that's for that's for ruddy short, sure. right? Let's put that on there and hook that up on here and then have a look at some some zoning. It would be right over there, wouldn't it? Yeah, you can yeah, never build up in a consistent fashion. I'm going to do roadside drop offs again. I know I've uh, I've broken that Rubicon and now we're uh, uh, you don't break a Rubicon, you cross it, strictly speaking. Um, uh, but now I'm 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 fully embracing it. Uh, right, let's do one over here, maybe. No, no. This is this is the uh, clearly the the, the drop off point to uh, to to beat them all. Let's just drop it there, uh, and then let's put another another drop off point over here somewhere. What are you mini truck station? Uh, there's nothing mini about this operation, my friend. Uh, this is a this is a maxi operation we've got going on here. Uh, right, good. So you are the uh, dispensary. No, Barcelona. Better idea. Barcelona dispensary road. Good. Have we got a bus station? Uh, 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 what's it station nearby we have? Uh, depot. That's what they call them. Right. Let's do that. Do this. From here to that and back again. Train 41 should be replaced. I'm sure it should. Uh, right, so this is Barcelona, which is going to be bark, no matter which way you cut it. You uh, would uh, goods delivery. Maybe. At some point in about five years' time when all of this starts working. That's trams. No, it aren't trams. I want, uh, I want trucks driven by chaps who eat a lot of Yorkies. Uh... And whose kids constantly buy them Eddie Stobart trucks as Christmas presents. And they kind of go, I've had so many Eddie Stobart trucks now, I don't know what to do with them. Uh, right, now then, what do we got here? Freight. We're talking Europe, so the Volvo is in play. Uh, um, what's it going to be carrying? It's going to be carrying a bit of everything. So I think the box van is our, uh, is our chum. Food, yeah, goods, tools, fuel, machines. Those are all things that we like. Construction material, that's the one. We'll go with four. You chaps aren't going to make any money forever, but I need you in business. So uh, get to business. Okay, now then, we next want to make sure that we can route stuff from the hub, uh, or rather from from uh, Home Depot to uh, to these these secondary lines, but. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and illustrate the point first and we'll see if it will allow me to deploy one. Now then, I need one that can go in either direction. So that's anything that can get up onto line one, which is everything apart from that one. Right, come out of line two. Buy trains. Now then, we're talking we're talking European here. Um uh might be Austrian. Don't really know. We'll see what we have available. Steam, yes. Come on, one of you. Let's uh, let's get up to the the modernish era here. Uh, right, this Great Western. What are you What are you all about? I don't think it's uh, the power's good. The tractive's pretty good as well, actually. That might uh, that might do the job. I don't really want to stick it on the um, uh, on the coal line though, or the ore line because those are quite short. So I'd quite like to use those as a as an opportunity to run a, a smaller train, you know. Although we're now getting into, uh, yes, that's a little bit cheaper. I don't, have I used that yet? I don't think I have. Or have I? I don't think I have. Let's go Austrian with the first. This is going to be the ore train, right? And if this works, then we know we're in, uh, we're in business. All right, something resembling a hopper car uh, that will be fine to use in Austria without people getting upset. That's Russian. I know we've we've crossed the streams as far as Russian is concerned before. Uh, wooden gondola. I think this is American. Yeah. Uh, 
There's a great. These are great westerns. That's no good. Open wagon. That's too slow. And or is it? Actually, let's go back and look at the train again. Uh, which obviously it's not going to show me the exact right one. It's a K K T A K T S S T T. That was one of those. One hundred. Where top speed eighty five. Oh blimey, this is actually quite slow. That's okay. We can we can cope with that. Uh, get back up here. Now then. Uh, British five plank open wagon. 96. Okay, well, we only need to do 85. So this regular open wagon is... It's a bit boring, though, isn't it? I might put Great Western wagons on there. Nobody's to get upset. Okay, I'm not going to put the American ones on, though. Okay, because, you know, we have our limits. Um, now, this hall's 10. Maybe I should just stop procrastinating, buy some, and then if I don't like the looks of them, we'll buy some others later. That only does four. Give me something around eight would be nice. Early gondola. Yeah. What have we got? Oh, it's the Mallard look. And the Red Arrow. And the Opal Blitz. And the BC4 carriage. And, oh, I, yeah, I know all of this stuff. That's that's all good. Not using it today. Uh, stop arming and arming and just get to work. We're going to use the five plank oaken. Are we? No, we're not. We're going to go with the seven plank. You're a five. You're a five. All right. You can go all seven plank. I've, I've made a decision now. Uh, I apologize for not having a, a better European car for this. But, hey, it's better than using the Naffy's wagon, right? Uh, so, on. Yeah. What do we think? Let's go 60. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's go 80. Let's do 100. There we are. That's that's the one. Now then, you're on International Coal Delivery. International Coal Delivery. They're the guys that deliver the coal internationally. Uh, right, can't find a path to stop. Well, we knew that was going to happen. Right, so I'm going to need to plough in something that will help accomplish that. Because then it's simply a case of, of throwing everything out of the depot and me saying, and I'll see you next time. Um, now then, what if this appears to be the easiest one to get to, or it's the closest to get to, we could come off from here, out of Krakow, where for a... For, it's almost as though I planned for it. Uh, there's a bit of track available. There you go. Go across the road. Laying rail across road. Now, I know you want to do this quickly, but there's a right way and a wrong way to do things, and that, my friend... Is the wrong way to do things. All right, okay, you're, you're right, of course. Is that? Oh, hello, auto save. Welcome. Nice to see you. Uh, lovely of you to turn up at this particular moment, uh, where we can all pause and reflect on how well this is all going. Uh, there we go. Right now, then get along here like that. Uh, moment of note and or caution is. Uh, don't send the uh, the ore train out until last. Second point. You can't get to the coal line from there. Okay, well that's fine. So because what we'll do is we'll do this, right? Yeah, and we'll do. Uh, let's go a little bit further along as well, and we'll do that. Huh? Eh? How good does that look? Well, it'd look great if it worked. It'll work. Give it give it a moment. There we go. We'll go as far as that. And then we'll get along over here. I know. Is there, did, it's always such a lot of faffing about in order to put the uh, the, the line in that will get you to, to the single depot. Uh, but you never know. Some of this might actually prove to be practical. Uh, if you can think of a way where this might prove to be practical, I'm I'm all ears. Uh, also, this is going to cause an absolute disaster uh, once something happens. What's the important thing that shouldn't happen? Uh, well, if I ever need to send a train back to the depot, that's going to cause all all manner of nonsense to occur there. There's going to need to be the stopping and the and the waiting and and all that kind of stuff. I guess rather like you'd get on a on a special train mission journey type idea. Uh, right, let's do a bit of that, and then uh, merge all this onto single track. Because nothing ever, ever, nothing bad ever happened with single track. 
You get on the coal route. And go. Do I know my trains or do I know my trains? See, it's, uh, it's going. Uh, actually, let's pause. Because uh, uh, we've got a we've got a many trains leaving at the same time opportunity going on here, and we shouldn't just blow that. So coming out of number two is uh, is the coal train, and then out of here is going to be our lumber train. Now this is going to need uh, a fair bit of grunt behind it. There we go. We're not going to use any of those because those are unsuitable. However, this Great Western might do the trick. Ninety six. It's not quick. Uh, 148 and 1150 versus uh, our friends from uh, South Africa 142 1250 that's a little bit a little bit more grunty but not massively so I think we might go Great Western with this you know that'll keep the Great Western people happy uh, or we've got the Psy we've got a Russian we could run the Russian uh, the, actually, this this would benefit from the Russian because this is the track that needs to go fastest. So uh, so we're going Russian with this one, uh, and then freight we need uh, state cars primarily. We we're not going to use the Pennsylvania. Actually, we are going to use the Naffies because because uh, that's the because the price is right, the speed is right. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just do two hundred and twenty. Not even messing around. Uh, and you are no, actually we've set coal in motion, so you are lumber processing. So uh, international lumber processing, lumber processing international. Right, that's that one going. Good. Next trick: consumer goods bulk. Now this is the one that's going from the uh, uh, the the. No, let's do steel next. All right. Okay. Fine. Um, how far is that going? It's not going a massive distance. This is going to be a Naffy's again. Uh, this could... Well, let's use the Great Western on this one. It's only 80, though. All right. But, you know, what else are you thinking? This one does 70. This one does 80. Any advance on... Oh, hold on. We're quite a long way down. This one does 96. There you go. We'll use one of those. Thank you. Uh, we will Naffy's it once more. Because at this point we could be we could end up running absolutely anything. Uh, so once again we'll go with let's take this one to one forty ish. How's that? That's probably about one fifty if I'm honest. But uh, uh, and again ish. And you are going to be my steel train, steel delivery, and maybe slag. Which is a catchy name, I think you'll find. Right, good. You're gone. Yep, off you go. Next, or is going last. I can turn this off as well, actually. Don't confuse me into thinking. I've done lumber processing, haven't I? I've definitely done lumber processing. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, you did the 220 on that. Which means the last one, last but one, is going to be International Consumer Goods Bulk. Right, okay. So you can come out of uh, out of number two. All right, you can come out of, no, there's A, there's B, buy a train. Uh, right, you, now this is going to be need, need to be quite a lengthy one, because if I get this right, we should actually have quite a lot to deliver. Uh, you do 60, you do 60. Now, I realise we're looking at older stuff here, but if I can find one that's relatively quick, uh, with, a, with a bit of pulling power, then... Uh, then I would be inclined towards using it. Sadly, the Americans are the, uh, are the chaps that have really got it going on, uh, as far as all this is concerned. And while I, I'm quite happy to use uh, an American train to come pick this stuff up, uh, I've, I've used them all to uh, to excess, really. Uh, 96, you are the uh, you are the beast of the day, aren't you? Uh, the the GWR 7200 class. Might need two of them, but we'll uh, we'll buy one for now and see how we get on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and for more, one, two, three, four, five. There we are. Now I am I am being rather excessive here. Freight interchange depot as the name of the depot you book. Uh, consumer thingamajig. What's it? Bulk. It's got the word consumer in there. That's the ticket. International. International. 
Yes. Let's uh, let's put the whole let's put the whole word on there. Intonation, maybe. Right. Let's get uh, let's clear the decks here, because once this lot is gone, so we're waiting for four to depart. You're done, and then we can do the ore delivery. Now, how many signals have I got on this bit? Not a whole bunch. So this could take a little while. All right, those wagons look brilliant. Uh, even though it's being pulled by an inappropriate train. Now, I realise I'm not a, a locomotive. I realise I am not a purist, and therefore I am not allowed to judge. However, I think that looks ace. That's my show, and I'll judge if I want to. Thank you very much. All right, okay, we do have a signal. So once it, once it exits that, we can get number two out. Should we just sit here and uh, and wait for wait for things to happen? Or should we wait for the other side of the signal? Because then we'll we'll also get to see the uh, the shunter going past occasionally. I say occasionally. Uh, could be uh, could be more than just a little occasionally. What if I were to stick? And this is a terrible idea. Uh, where's the shunter coming out of? It's coming out of here. Look. Okay. Well, if I were to put a signal on there. Yeah. Stuff you, shunter. You're standing in the way of progress. And then as soon as he leaves, you should be uh, you should be free and clear to be about your business while we wait for the next one to come out of the depot. There you go. See? That's you, free and clear to be about your business. Next! This is going to take a little while, you know, but you end up with a, a super-length episode as a result of that, so, you know, I doubt very much too many people are going to complain. Um, but, uh, you know... It, what? You're making a longer episode so you can do some train spotting? Afraid so! Look at that for a nice, even piece of track lane. Terrific. That all looks good. Right, what have we got coming up next? This is a great western. Good. Uh, probably, because uh, that's what pretty much everything is from this point on. And then uh, and then we'll do a quick, a quick hop, skip and a jump to see how they're faring playing with the other children out on the main line. Um, but as mentioned, this is going to take a little while before anything works at all. Where are we? We're on uh, February 8th, uh, 1935. I would have thought that it will take until at least the start of the new year before we uh, before we get anything of value out of here. All right, now, what are you waiting for? Because that chap's gone. He, uh, he's, he's left. You want to get out onto the main line. All right, well, we can at least put a signal here to bring you along a little. Right. And then you're coming out this way, which means you need to get over onto this side of the track, which currently I don't do. Oh, this is... No, that's going to create very bad times for all involved. And I spotted this before. There may be... This this hazard blinking light may start blinking has uh, uh soonish. The only solution is more cowbell. Here's the only solution. There we go. Let's let's do that. It's ugly, I know, but we're doing it. Uh, we're also going to need a signal on here, like so. Yes, it's blocking things, but it's kind of necessary. Otherwise, uh, otherwise we're going to sit around until, a, well, for a very long time, uh, with with not a lot happening. Right there we go. Sorry. Oh, it's not. It's not the GWI. This is that's the uh, that's the Russian. Good job there, comrade. I know they don't call each other comrade quite so often these days, but uh, you know, it always made them sound cool during the Cold War. It was one of the, one of the best things they had going for them. Uh, right now, then, what have we got next? There we go. It's a great Western Naffy's combo. Yes, sirree, Bob. That's what it is. All right, good. That's that one gone. Next. Oh, the passengers are going to be—they're going to be up in arms. They're going to be going, "What are you doing? Throwing all of these dirty, great 
freight trains up and down the main line here. You're going to make me late for work. And frankly, that won't do. Now, have I got anybody else left to deploy? That's four we've sent out. Let's uh, let's gamble on the fact that I've sent them all now. And then I'm going to get a, one of the little Great Westerns. It has a real name. I am aware of that. Uh, 65, 90, and... Uh, so it's, not, it's not the heaviest of lifters, is it? All right, what have we got? Oh no, hold on, here's a better one. That's more like it. There, there you go, you've got a bit more, uh, a bit more oomph. Uh, and you're going to be my, uh, wait, for, wait, let's put some, let's put some wagons on there first. Uh, this is going to be my ore train. Now that we did a hundred on the, uh, on the coal train, the ore train has to go a little bit further. So to make those match up, what do you do? 96, that's enough for this, uh, for this setup. A seven plank wagon, it goes faster than we need. So let's go with uh, one, two, three of those, and then let's go with one, two, three of that, three of those. Let's do another one of those, and then do another three of these, and then do some more of that. Keep going, let's go to about 130 ish. 147 looks good. Set line, you're on the international or thing. Go. And hopefully you can handle that. I'm really hoping you can handle that. Because that's kind of important. There it is. It's wet, ready to go. Pannier tank. That's what it is. Apparently. Never failing to, uh, to, to, uh, to put a smile on one's face. Uh, a, nice, uh, a nice bit of Great Western. Great Westerning its way out. Oh, I see. These wagons are actually identical. Some have handles some don't uh so the, the, these ones if you you know you want to be able to pick one up and take it home you've got a helpful carry handle on there i suppose that looks naturalistic enough uh right now then what's going on there that that can't possibly be allowed to exist yeah let's do a bit of this down here oh hello drama well obviously you're waiting you're going I got I got a lot of food on here, friend. We're going to need that to get through. Uh, right, let's put a signal just before the bridge. Let's put it, put it, that's it. it. No, this side, this side. Thank you. The spice must flow. Um, right, now then. Oh, look at this. We've got a bit of a log jam going on here, but I think it's working given that nothing's flashing. We're just waiting for stuff to clear through. That's what I am saying optimistically. We'll soon see if anything's actually blood. See, as long as as long as one of the sliding pieces in the sliding piece puzzle is actually moving, then it's all fine. Alright, here's a good strain look. Oh, thanks for pointing that out. Another piece of astute kernel failure commentary there. Alright, yep, yeah, you've stopped. You've stopped as well. What do we reckon the chances are that there is some Charlie of a, of a goods train here trying to go the wrong way up the track? Right, let's, uh, let's up the tempo a bit. No, there we go. That's the Orient Express passing through. That's all fine. It's because it's, uh, it's a, a one, one in, one out kind of, a, kind of a deal. Right, who's next? That's another bit of passenger action. Now, if this is timed correctly, you should now flow in to about here. Yeah, and actually there isn't any harm in you. Is there any harm in you blocking that junction? I don't think there is. Uh, and I'm going to take the chance that there is no harm in you blocking that junction. Coming? Are you? I suppose you are. Right, I'm going to wrap it up here because there's at least 20 minutes of waiting for this to start happening. And uh, you go, look, just for you, I'm going to pause, right? I'm going to one pause in a minute, but I'm going to pause now. I won't roll the game further forward at all. And next time around, we'll pick it up from this moment or thereabouts. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this extended uh, finagling around uh, around a goods network but we already knew, we always knew this one was going to be a bit complicated uh and it has not disappointed so far uh i hope to see you very soon thanks for watching
Cheerio.